Okay, everyone, welcome back to part two on this lovely seascape. Now, I'm, just, I'm in my kitchen today, and I have the same colours. I added cadmium red. Uh, I think I might need a little bit of it just for the sand. So look, this is as far as we have gotten so far. Um, I'm going to continue on. I just want to brighten some of the blues on this, okay? Just a little bit here and there. Um, so I'm going to take a medium flat brush. Um, this one should be okay. I'll go for a smaller one, actually. Right, I'll take a small flat brush, okay? And I hope the lighting is okay on this. Yeah, you can see okay, can't you? Let's add a little light into this. And I want to green it slightly, just a little bit more. So a little cerulean blue, some titanium white with a little thinners. And I'm going to take some Naples yellow, okay? Um, I just find this a little bit on the blue side. I just want to make it slightly more green, if you understand what I mean. So this will make a nice kind of turquoise green and let me just have a look now let me try that okay that's a bit better i'm just going to start softening a little bit of that along here and there like this now the painting has dried on the board so i'm going to have to try and blend some of this in and i just want to leave it kind of hit and miss so i'm just kind of scraping it across here and there you see that and then i'll soften it in with my fingers just a little it's just to add a little bit of light onto the ocean all right that's really that's all i want to do add a little light bring it across here and just leave it soft and out across then like that look okay that's all that's fine absolutely fine now i'm going to maybe lighten this over here with a little blue because as it comes across it gets cooler so it goes into more of a bluey color so a little phthalo blue into that and Let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I'll start here softening it across. And it's really, again, just to lighten that and make it a little more vibrant. That's all, really. That's all I want to do. A little more vibrancy. Okay, and then soften that in. Just scrape it across onto the board. Soften it out. Okay. Now, that's a little bit brighter already, isn't it? So, what I'm going to do then is start lightening over here. Now, I can see certain colours in the photograph. So, for example, I can see a little magenta with white in there. I can see a touch, only a touch of that colour, just a little on some of those dark blues. Okay, I'm going to pop a few of those in just here and there. And then add a touch of Naples yellow. That warms it again, just a little bit more. Now I go down into this one here as well. And again, because my board is dry, I'm going to just soften these in with my fingers, okay? Because when the painting is wet, this is much easier. You can soften the colours through. But because it's fairly dry, this is just a little bit more difficult. Do you understand what I mean? So I know I shouldn't be doing this now, but it's looking only a little bit. It's not going to harm me too much, I don't think. So we've lightened some of that. I want this kind of nice glow just on that side. That's all I want to do, really. Um, I'm now going to take some bright colour, some Naples yellow, and some white, and maybe a touch of cadmium red. And when I say a touch, I really mean just a touch, okay? Uh, I'm going for like a bright, yellowy sort of an orangey hue. And I just really want to go in here and brighten this up. Just to give that water that little bit of glow from the sun. You see what I mean? There's just a little bit of a glow just around here from that sun. That's all I want to do. And I'll add more detail to this later with a pointy brush. So, but just for now, let's just do this nice colour just along here and there. Soften it through. I would have preferred to carry on with this when it was wet. It would have been much easier. Um, but I was kind of constricted with time. So that was unfortunate. Now I'm just taking a bit of Naples yellow. Popping a bit of Naples yellow through here and there as well. Particularly up on top. Where the, where the sun hits the water. Okay, Just a little Naples yellow on its own. And I go for some very bright colours then lastly with my pointy brush, small pointy brush. I take some white with Naples yellow. You can use cadmium yellow as well if you like, that will give it a very nice bright glow. 
but I think Naples yellow is just a little bit softer and might be a little nicer rather than a rich cadmium yellow color okay I just want to pop a few bright highlights just here and there a couple off in the distance up there like that again I'll just soften them out very slightly just a little and a few here and there as well look you don't have to be too particular with this type of a painting at all now the next stage is all this lovely sand and this has been an interesting little section because we want to go from a nice browny color and merge that into this blue so what I do is I start with that nice brown I'm going to take some burnt umber little thinners in this now as well okay because we're going on a dry board so just a little thinners some burnt umber plenty of it don't be shy and magenta okay let's try some of that little magenta in there nice rich brown color and then I'm going to take some Naples yellow and that will soften this right down then you see what I mean the Naples yellow makes it nice and opaque and it allows you to cover the can the, the board or the canvas just nicely let me check this down just to see so a nice soft kind of a color you see that a bit more Naples yellow and a bit more magenta so it's, we're going for kind of a pinkish a soft pinkish brown color that's better that's what I want so I'm going to just roughly now go where I think those waves are coming in I did have this sketched earlier but I've kind of lost my markings a little bit so I'm just going to go by eye just very roughly down like that we can even make some of this our own as well if we like okay there we go that's okay that'll do fine remember it doesn't have to be exactly the same we can do it our own way if we like go right across there let's mix up some more of that burnt umber magenta and a little naples yellow come across pop that in and I keep emphasizing the fact that I'm adding magenta into this that's keeping the lovely pinky sort of colors throughout the painting probably a bit of white actually as well so a little bit of light pink see that kind of nice sandy pinky color now what I want to do this time okay I go as far as that now you can see we have a big divide don't we brown against blue so how do we merge those two colors together let's let's have a look and see right so what I'm going to do is first I need some more Naples yellow on my palette and I'm going to create a nice pink first a kind of a mauve pink okay so let me show you let's take some white I'll take some magenta I'll take a hint of burnt umber and then I'm going to take a tiny hint of blue let's even take the cerulean color that we have here just a little bit of that so now we have a kind of a pinky mauve color see that I'm going to go along here and just soften that in don't worry about our waves and all that stuff now we can soften those back in and get our shapes and stuff like that so I'm just going to go along with a bit of pinky color here first you see that mauve I'm going to soften that sort of up into the blue just a little touch here and there and then I'm going to come down and soften it into the brown so what we have then is the feeling that the sand is carrying on behind the waves under that shallow water so we still have a kind of a browny hue going through the water when it's breaking and coming in so I'm just going to soften it like that just across the top of that brown just very gently very very gently so now already you can see we have that lovely sort of transition don't we then what I'm going to do is just deepen the mauve take some of that cerulean bluey color take a little magenta it's all about softening colors together with similar colors so you can see now we have a little bit of a mauve hue going on here I'm going to soften a little bit of that through there as well and come down slightly into the brown you see so you can see now how that's kind of really merging nicely over there isn't it I'll do the same over here like that 
and particularly by the yellowy colour, a little bit of pink, you see. Soften that out just slightly with my fingers like that. And when we put our waves in then, our little splash and our foam and stuff like that, it will cover a lot of this so you won't notice it too much. You understand what I mean? So, okay, let's start. This is the tricky part now, everyone, okay? If you're a kind of a newbie, um, I'll try and simplify this as much as I can, all right? I promise, I really will. But it's a little tricky. I'm going to start with putting in the outlines here, okay? And for that, I'm going to get a nice bright colour. Um, maybe a whitey, bluey kind of colour. Let's take some titanium white, and I'll try a little touch of halo blue. Now, it's mostly white, all right? Mostly white. Not too much blue in this. It's just a very bright, bright, whitey, bluey kind of colour. And even a bit of that colour there. Look, I'm going to start putting in some of my lines. I have a decent amount of thinners in this then, okay? A decent amount. So it flows nicely off of the brush. It's not very, very thick paint. Let's start. Um, I'm going to start with this thicker, this kind of curvy one here. And I'm just going to make it, make it my own, okay? Let's go up like that. Now you'll find this mixing with the colour behind. That's absolutely fine. That's, that's good. Because it gives it a much more natural feeling. You see what I mean? I'm just kind of putting in very rough sort of outlines with my brush. Not being too particular, not too perfect. Um, it's even hitting and missing and all that kind of thing. So it come over here and it goes up like that. And then it comes down and we kind of carry on and make it our own. So we have a nice outline sort of blended in here and there as we go. Let's add a little bit more blue to that. And I'm going to start make this more blue and a touch of mauve just over on the right hand side, okay? It's a sort of a nice warm colour over here. Now the fact that it's softening into the background is better again. I like that. Um, it just means that the colours will go together much nicer. All right. Now, what I'm doing is, you see where some of the foam goes back like that. There's like a little bit of that there. Okay. And then uh, we have another little bit over here. You turn this one back like that. I'm softening it off into the background, off to a point. Okay. I'll do another one just here. Okay. Now, it may not be on the photograph, but I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to have a bit of fun. And another kind of a one going over here. Just literally wiggling your brush and leaving it disappear off into the distance. You see that? So you can start to see now we're creating some perspective. So they all disappear off into the distance in a little wiggly motion. And a couple more over here. Now when we get to this side, they're much brighter, aren't they? Because of that sun. So I'm going to get some white and some Naples yellow. That's all, white and Naples yellow, nothing else. On the tip of my brush, and I'm gonna just start putting these ones in like this, look. Wiggle, wiggle, leave it disappear off. Okay, I hope you're following. And it's basically like painting lots of little snakes on the water, you see that? Just wiggling it around, left and right. It's starting then to come to life, isn't it? Let me get some more paint. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just go up here and then carry on doing lots of these. There are a lot of these in here. Lots of little wiggles, you see that? I'm just putting a lot of little wiggles. And I'm softening them backwards into that paint behind, okay? Just making it all nice and soft. And it's just a case of doing this. Just carry on doing this for 10 or 15 or 20 minutes. You know, you don't have to pay too much attention to all of these. You're just making, I'm just focusing right now on making a nice impression of the scene, okay? I'm not 
you know I, I don't want to try and put far too much detail in it and all this kind of thing you can if you like but I prefer to create a nice impression and uh, not make it too photographic like do you understand what I mean some people do but I prefer just to go on my own just make a nice impression of what is there that's all now I go up into that darker water and just start leaving it hit and miss like that here and there I'm sort of suggesting that there's a lot of detail going on and there's lots of water moving around like that but all I'm doing really is just wiggling my brush around here and there that's all I'm doing my friends now I go over some white just on its own I come over here and I just thicken up some of these with some white and you can see it's even softening into that brown as well which I like that's nice and it's giving us kind of nice soft colors merging together again we continue on like that just over here again softening it through and lifting the brush off see creating little tiny little bits of foam popping in and out and I'll come over here now we have a nice thick one going on over here don't we this is nice and thick I get some white on its own for this one over here I think and keep loading our brush now with lots of thick paint no thinners just paint okay because you want the color to stay and you want it to be nice and thick on the, the canvas or the board nice and thick well, let's go and put a couple suggestions small ones just over here small tiny little wiggles you see and I'm lifting off and letting it soften out so when you're looking at this then from a distance back it looks like there's a lot of detail in there but it's not really it's just a lot of tiny little wiggles with the brush isn't it so it's about just sort of tricking tricking the eyes that's all it is that's what I would say tricking the eyes into thinking there's a lot of detail there when it's not really so now already we have a nice little foamy wave kind of foamy water coming in and after this now it's really a case of just stepping up and really putting on lots of color so look I'm going to get a lot of that bright color and I'm just going to start thickening the lines you see uh, make them a little bit more pronounced so they're a little bit more separated from that brownie sand all right that's what I'm going to do so that really putting lots of thick color Naples yellow and white in here with our Naples yellow and white look put that on there like so while we have that color we could go up and start adding a little bit more nice thick paint up there for that bright sunny area And I pop another little bit in over there. Now I will have some darks in this as well, but I'm just going to continue on with this for now. I'm going to take some phthalo blue and some white. And I just want to create over on this side a nice kind of a glow on the whites over here. So a nice kind of a bluey colour, you see that? So I'm going slightly deeper now with my colour, just on that side. Again, a couple of wiggles with your brush is all you need to do. All right. Just dancing around on the canvas. Look at that. Let's just go and have a bit of fun with this. Now I go deeper again. A little bit stronger I'll try a bit of magenta as well so now you can see look nice and rich and dark 
adding a bit of shadow to all these, just here and there. So the next thing I'm going to do now is start putting in some darks for the sand. I'm going to take some burnt umber, a little black, and some magenta. Okay. Now I thin that very slightly, and I just want to go and darken some of the sand. So the sand under the under that water there is going to be slightly darker, isn't it? So I'm just going to darken that now ever so slightly. Bit of white. I'm going for a dark browny grey colour, okay? Magenta burnt umber and a touch of black. And you see, for instance, over here, see that nice dark we have in between. I'm going to just sort of soften that in. So now that's kind of telling you that the sand is darker underneath that water, okay? Where it's kind of showing through the water. And literally just go around, just have a bit of fun. Look, just dab your brush around here and there. You can even soften it away with your fingers if you like. Look, just a little bit. Make it a bit softer. So you can kind of get the general idea. Kind of to see what I'm trying to get at. Just a little bit darker here and there. There we go. Soften that one out. So it's starting to come to life, isn't it? Just a little bit. Just a little. Now we do have a nice yellow on top of all of that there. So let me just grab some cadmium and yellow for a moment. Uh, where is it? Now here we go. Little cadmium yellow out of my box. <clears throat> and I want to create a nice warm area just there, okay? Now, take a small brush, and I'm going to go with cadmium yellow, and I'm going to take a little cadmium red, I think. That should give me a nice warm colour, shouldn't it? And I'm just going to start popping that warm colour here and there, filling up some of this. So that's a nice glow then, coming from that sun bit more red perhaps make it a little bit more on the orangey side and because I'm using more orange it's not going to we, we shouldn't end up at kind of greens and stuff like that because there's more red in the mix it will stay neutral it won't mix with the blue and go green not too much anyway I'm hoping so I'm just going to soften that in there like that I'll come up and maybe add a little touch of it there and there okay And then I'm going to go with some cadmium yellow and white. And it's really just for this area. I want to get some really nice bright whitey colours going through here. Just like that, look. Give it a little wiggle here and there. Now, I know you may find, you may think that it's starting to get a little messy. Um, if that happens, you know, you could just leave it. You don't have to go this far with the painting. You could just leave it and do your own thing. Absolutely. But I just want to really add some nice highlights to this. I think it does need it. Nice bright highlights. Okay, now I'm going to stop at that and I am actually going to add a little bit of darker colour into this as well. I'll take some of this dark plummy colour and I just want to really add just a touch of some darks in here behind some of these just to give them a little shadow, okay? And this is very sort of, uh, you know, when painting something like this, it's very sort of trial and error. You try something 
to see what it looks like. If it doesn't work, you just try something else. That's what I would say, really. A little bit more dark down here. And you can see the way I'm bringing the colors across. So I'm integrating some of this color in either side of the painting. I'm just sort of bringing it into the painting just to help bring everything together. Now what I want to do at this stage is take my soft brush look. And I'm just going to soften some of these out. Because I'm going to go over some of these again with thick paint. So I'm just going to soften some of these away. Look. You may think now that you're ruining everything you've just done, but no, I'll show you what I mean. Just want to soften them together just ever so slightly. Then I'll take my small brush again, and I'm going to go with some real proper bright paint. Let's try just some white on its own. Uh, let's pick out the outline of this again. Okay, and one there. And some nice bright one there. And remember, just wiggling the brush all the time. Don't be afraid. Just grab the brush and give it a good wiggle. Just remember, as they go off, they get thinner and thinner. Okay? Load your brush with paint and go and have some fun. Just go off and just pop some of these in. Just here, there, and everywhere, okay? Don't be, don't be shy. So you can see now, it is starting to sort of come to life a little bit, isn't it? You can also use a palette knife for this if you wish. You'll put some thick paint on with a palette knife, no problem at all. That would look absolutely fine as well. Well, there. You see, lots of thick paint. Don't be shy. The same over here. The only problem with this, of course, is that it will take a long time for a painting like this to dry with lots of thick paint. So do bear that in mind. So I will frame this in about a week and a half and it will still be wet. Um, so I will just put it in a nice warm room for a couple of days and that should really help. That will help speed up the drying, okay? So, what do we think about this so far? What I'm going to do next is put a nice shadow. Now, when it, once I put a shadow under all of this, you'll see it come to life, okay? Let's have a look. Let's, let's try it and see. A little bit of black, a little bit of brown, perhaps. Nice dark color. Maybe some magenta. Just add a little bit of pink into it. Why not? And a bit of turpentine in this now, so it flows nicely off of your brush. Let's go. So the shadow will kind of hit mostly the right hand size of these like that okay so especially over here look we're going to get a nice strong shadow over here like that now you see the difference that made already a huge difference didn't it And you could even use uh, like a dark purple, actually. That might be nice, wouldn't it? Let's try a dark purple. Let's try some magenta, halo blue. I think that might really catch the eye, don't you? I'd like to try it. Plenty of magenta, don't be shy with the magenta. Nice dark pinky purple. Well, that probably looks black on camera, but it's just a very deep purple color okay and I think that's a little bit better you know maybe a little just around here I 
and I'm even going to soften it into the sand as well, just here and there, look, all right? Um, you know, sometimes I don't want just very sharp lines. It's nice sometimes just to soften this into the sand as well, just a little bit. It really does help. Just rubbing along just very gently. Now let's stop and take a look at this. Now that little section there, I'm not happy about. So I'm going to add another little layer into that. And I'm going to put a few darks into that one as well. So you see these white lines, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow into some of those. A deep, a deep purple shadow. Let's pop a little one in here, look. And one behind that. Just one on the right hand side of some of them. Just to suggest that there, there's a bit of a shadow there and they're kind of up off of the water. So there will be a tiny bit of a shadow in some of them. Along here, for example, and especially over here, you have some nice strong shadows on that one over there. So you can begin to see it's just kind of coming to life a little bit now, isn't it? And you can continue on with this for as long as you like. It's, really, it's up to you, really. Um, but certainly, I wouldn't overdo this too much, okay? Um, you can overcomplicate scenes like this. I prefer just sometimes keep it simple. And don't go crazy. I think it's just, it has a nicer impact, I think, if it's just kept nice and simple. And you don't go over the top with lights and darks and all that kind of thing. That's just my opinion. I think it's nicer that way. Um, if you want to go to town and put loads of detail in, please, by all means, do. Okay? But I'm just going to keep it simple. A nice, simple way of creating a nice little seascape. Breaking. Now, I will kind of... You know, I might tip away with this and just add a couple of little bits and bobs. A um, couple of little highlights here and there. Some real thick white paint, again. Just reinforcing that white. Do you know what I mean? Just putting a couple of little bits in here and there. Maybe bring it up slightly, if you want. But in general, I am pretty happy with this. I might leave it dry and then I can always add more to it at a later stage. But yes, you know, I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. I will add a slight light to the top of the waves up here, I think, just a slight little dab here and there just to suggest some light catching some of them on top maybe one or two over here just barely touching with your brush just dragging it along look and then you can even soften them back as well look soften them back out with your finger it just adds a little light doesn't it to the top of the waves just a touch yes Now, I'm going to again, very gently soften, because I know they're very sharp at the front down the bottom, but as they go back, they kind of disappear into the water slightly, don't they? Has a lovely kind of a fuzzy look. So at the back, I'm just going to soften some of them in, just to almost sort of push them off into the distance a little bit more. Okay, just a touch now, not too much. I think that's a little bit, I think that's a little better. The last thing I must do, my friends, is sign. 
get some bright color. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I really do. It was a lot of fun to paint. Okay, I know we took our time and went into quite maybe quite a bit of detail for a lot of people, but I wanted to create something nice um, rather than just sort of rushing all of the time. So I'm fairly happy with that. Now, there's one part that I just want to darken. Um, just around here, okay? I'm just going to darken this a little bit more. Like so. And you can just keep going, doing as much or as little as you like. If you want to stop, please do. Okay, don't keep going, thinking that it's going to get better. Sometimes the more you go, the worse it gets. I've learned that a long time ago. Sometimes it's best just to leave it alone. All right? I'm going to soften out some of this hair. Because it was a bit much, wasn't it? A little bit much. Here we are. Better. And finally, with some very rich dark black, I'm going to just pick out a few spots where it's really dark. Especially in the corners where it sort of rises. You see that? Just in the corners there. And I think we're done, my friends. Let's call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. That was fun. I must do another few of these. A couple more. Um, that's it. Just try to keep it simple. That's all. No, try to keep it simple. Have a bit of fun. Don't overthink it. I find a lot of people, even me included, sometimes I overthink something and I try to get it just perfect every time. That doesn't work for me. I like to just have a bit of fun. And when I feel I have enough done, I stop. And if I'm happy with it, I just stop. Um, because if I keep going with this for another hour, I'll probably end up repainting most of it. So I think it's a good idea to just be happy with what I have and um, know that I've learned a little bit of this or a little bit of that. You understand what I mean? So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have done so. And um, I will see my patrons very shortly with a lovely little tutorial, um, especially for Suki. All right? A lovely little, very old fashioned little brick stone, stone building in the middle of a forest. Very. Um, captivation okay let's say captivation thank you and i'll see you very soon